Hi, I'm Dave from Ponderosa 2 Woodworks. Today I'd like to talk about the seat safety switch on the Kubota L3301 HST. I've had this tractor uh, three years now. It's got about 300 hours on it, and I'm a first time tractor owner. At about 250 hours, I started experiencing uh, loss of power when I wanted to uh, drive the tractor forward or reverse. Uh, there was no problem starting the tractor, idling was fine. I could operate a backhoe, I could operate uh, anything stationary PTO, uh, like a chipper. But occasionally, uh, just trying to move the tractor, um, there would be an immediate loss of power. Uh, I did all my searching on Google and YouTube and most results indicated a fuel supply issue. So this is the symptom I was experiencing to drive forward or reverse. Again, based on my Google searches and YouTube searches for loss of power on the Kubota, um, everything seemed to indicate a fuel problem. Uh, there would be some idle reference to the seat safety switch, but nobody went into detail with it. Um, so I uh, followed their instructions, uh, drained the fuel tank, cleaned the uh, water separator filter here, uh, changed the fuel filter, blew out the fuel tank, and every time I do work on this to try to resolve what I believed was a fuel issue, the tractor would work for several hours or a day. This went on for four to six weeks. I drained the fuel tank twice, I changed the fuel filter twice, even changed a few hoses uh, trying to get uh, everything the fuel system cleaned out and when this did not work I uh, was frustrated enough to call uh, my Kubota dealer and request the service department and the young lady who answered the phone I uh, described the problem and she goes you know I'm not a technician but make sure you check the seat safety switch and I'll put a technician on the phone so I described to the tech everything I had done to resolve my problem, described the symptoms, and he started going into much deeper dive into the fuel system. And I took all the notes and was prepared to uh, learn more and more about this fuel system. But before I did that, I took a look at the seat safety switch. So this is the seat safety switch on the Kubota. Um, a little box with a white nylon lever pushes down uh, when the seat drops. Uh, it's held in place with a support bar that is connected on the opposite side uh, over a pin with a cotter pin. This is an uh, electronic device that allows you know, basically it's a dead man switch. If you fall off the tractor, it's supposed to stop. But what I find is that there is a considerable amount of play in this seat safety switch. Uh, the, upwards, the upward movement isn't an issue. It's, it's how, much, how much movement there is downward. And when the seat's engaged, let me get really low here. When the seat's down, there really isn't a lot, there isn't a, a lot of movement between sitting on the seat and not sitting on the seat. So I tested this when uh, I was having the worst of the symptoms by clamping this lever down, which means uh, engaging the seat safety switch, and by gosh, the tractor ran perfect. So I decided that I needed to adjust to uh, resolve some of the play that was occurring 
in this support bar. So this is my uh, 12 cent solution to the seat safety switch uh, play in the uh, support bracket. Right there is a washer that I placed over the pin and under the cotter pin. It now prevents this support bracket from moving very much in the downward position. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope this uh, helps someone out there uh, get through uh, far less frustration than I had to go through.